Hey everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today we'll be going over the extensor indicus muscle. We will go over the location which includes the starting point called the origin, the ending point called the insertion, followed by and building on from that to its functions, and then finally I'll provide you an exercise so you know how to strengthen this muscle the best. So let's start off with the location and then we'll build from there. So the origin of the extensor indicus muscle is located between the distal third and the middle third of the posterior surface of your ulna. Now that is located on the pinky side of your hand. So the ulna runs here and the radius runs down here. So between, if this is the distal third and right here is the middle third, this muscle originates or starts from right about in here. And then it runs up the back of your hand and inserts onto the base of the second, the middle, and the distal phalanxes of your second finger, so of your pointer finger. So now that we know where the location of this muscle is on my body, now I'm going to provide you an illustration for you so you know how, or excuse me, so you know where this muscle, it lies on the skeleton. So here it is. Okay, so now that we know where this muscle lies on my body as well as on a skeleton, now we can build from that and move on to its function. So this muscle has three functions, however it has one main function because the other two are weak functions, which means that they are secondary and they are not the strongest movement of this muscle. So the first and the strongest function of the extensor indicus muscle is extension of your index finger or pointer finger, whichever you want to call it. The next function, which is one of the two weaker functions or secondary function, is weak wrist extension. The third function, also the second secondary function or the second weak function, is weak radio ulnar supination, excuse me. So if you'd hold out your hand with palm facing down and you rotated it to palm facing up, that is radio ulnar supination. So it assists with this movement, but is a weak movement of this muscle. So now that we know the function of the extensor indicus muscle, now we can move on to the exercise. And especially since we know the strongest movement of this muscle and the weaker movements. So similar to the extensor digitorium from last week, we can use manual resistance on this muscle as well because it's so small in size in comparison to a lot of other muscles that it does not need a lot of resistance. So what you can do is you can make a fist, place your palm on just your pointer finger, and apply a little pressure and push out. Okay. You could also put it on top and lift your hand up a little bit. So that would be my exercise given to you that you can go ahead and use in a training program for like a technique type of day to strengthen any of the muscles in your forearm. So if you guys found value in this muscle functions video, hit the like button, pass it on with a share. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will stay for next week uh, or come back for next week, excuse me. But I hope everybody enjoys your week. Everybody that is being affected by the hurricanes, 
stay safe, stay smart, and I will see you guys all next week. So make it a great week, guys. See you later.